up guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be trying out some more acrylic powders from model ones they sent me over 15 different shades to show you guys and let me tell you i was super hype when i received this package because i love acrylic so much but i feel like i don't really get a chance to like use it as much because i'm always getting poly gel so it's nice to finally get some acrylic for a change. And I love how um, these jars are bigger than the usual jars that we get. Um, these ones are 28 grams. So they're about like the average size of your like average acrylic powder jars. So yeah, I'm gonna do like swatches of all of these colors. And these colors are so gorgeous. Like they're so vibrant and pigmented i really like model one's acrylic powders a lot if you guys haven't tried them out you definitely should you really won't be like disappointed the powder is like super fine and they're like so easy to apply i'm going to be using mine with um mia secret monomer i know a lot of you guys were saying that the model one's monomer um might be like MMA, but I'm not really sure because there is no ingredients on there, but I don't really Too much care for that monomer anyway. I've been using Mia secret monomer Since I started doing nails really and I've always just stuck with that no matter what like brand of acrylic I'm using But yeah, Mia secret works really good with this brand as well And I'm sure like any other monomer that you have will work just fine um, in case you were like wondering or whatever but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and like swatch these colors on like a paper towel just to like speed up the video um, because there's like so many colors. So yeah, these colors are like not named or anything, but they do have like numbers. Um, so that pink shade is number 02 and that's like a really nice hot pink shade. I'll actually be using that one in the video. The second one is 08 and that one's a dark teal shade then we have a purple shade that one is number 10 i'll also be using that one in the video i could not decide like which colors i wanted to use like i literally love them all so the pink shade after the purple is 13 the one after that is 14 the orange is number 04 the yellow is 06 and then the red shade is zero three i'm skipping over the black and doing that last because as you guys know black is like super messy and i didn't want it to like get into the other colors that i was swatching so yeah the purple shade after the red is number 12 then we have number seven and um after that i'm swatching number zero one i'll be using that one in the tutorial that one actually has some shimmer in it then the color after that is number 05 and then the blue after that is 09 and of course the black is number 15 and here's what they all look like up close i'm obsessed with these shades but yeah model ones is currently having a 15 percent off sale on their website so if you guys are interested in this acrylic um you can use the code thanks and get like 15 percent off um, but if you get here like after that sale, my discount code is normally 10% um, off, which is STAY10. So I'll be sure to leave like the links to the powder and everything in the description box um, along with the product links. So yeah, you guys should definitely check out these powders. Like they are so bomb. Like I really love the quality. But yeah, um, moving on to the tutorial, I'm actually gonna be encapsulating some fabric in my nails today. I got this um, iridescent fabric from Joann Fabrics um, and I basically just had them cut like little squares. Um, if some of you guys know, some of the people um, sell these like for your nails and stuff, but you can just go ahead and like buy it yourself. The only thing is like, I have like a humongous piece because they only cut like you know a certain size so i have like so much of it i'm like what am i ever gonna do with this but i don't know maybe i'll find a use for it someday 
so yeah basically just cut it into like really tiny like little pieces and i'm just going to be randomly placing them on the nail and i'm actually going to be using clear poly gel to attach them and the reason for that is is because it's a pain in the you know what <laughs> to try to attach these with acrylic and like hold it down because sometimes it like pops up and then it's annoying to do it with glue because of the same problem and then you get glue all over your fingers um, it's a lot easier with poly gel because when you place it on the poly gel for the most part it just sticks there and then you just um, glue it in place on this nail i didn't really put enough poly gel so i'm gonna end up like taking it off and like adding a little bit more um, but you really don't need a lot i just didn't put like as much i thought i did but i guess not but yeah basically you just pick up the little um you know iridescent fabric piece and place it into the poly gel and you can cut off the excess don't worry about like getting too much of the excess off now um you can always like file it off like when you go to encapsulate the nails or whatever which is what i did i tried to like cut as much of it off as i could but i didn't want to spend too much time on that because it was pretty late and i just wanted to jump into the design so you might see like a little bit of the fabric hanging off but um, I do end up just like cutting it off later. Okay, so after the fabric is cured in place, now I'm gonna be doing like a little tie-dye slash marble type of design with these acrylics. Um, and I am like making my layers thin because I'm gonna be encapsulating these nails because I'm putting like glitter on them and like the fabric and everything like that. So just be mindful of how much product you're using if you're doing this design. But yeah, I'm basically taking a small bead of each color and I'm randomly placing it on the nail. And I'm purposely working with the colors wetter than usual because they blend together um, really good when you do it that way, especially if you're doing like a tie-dye type of marble design. They just like seamlessly blend if you work with the colors um, wetter than usual. So yeah, um, I'm just like placing my first color down, for example. And then when I go in with the next color, I kind of like pat it into the color I previously put down, if that makes any sense, and then kind of like brush it down the nail. This way they like blend a lot better. So yeah, I'm using like a bunch of shades because I literally loved like every single color that I've seen from the collection. Like if I could literally use all of them, I would have. But yeah, I decided to use these colors because I wanted to do a Barbie set for this. Um, nail design and like these colors just scream like Barbie girl to me so yeah um, like I said I'm using the shade number 12 which is like that kind of like um, it's a, almost like a jelly purple color it's really unique I like that it's kind of like a jelly purple acrylic and then the light lightest pink shade is number one that's the one I said had the shimmer in it the baby blue shade is number nine the hot pink shade is number two and then that like darker purple shade is number 10 that one is a really pretty color as well it's super unique and i love the fact that i have like all these new colors in acrylic so yeah expect more acrylic videos because i'm definitely like loving like these powders like you don't even know so yeah after i do that I'm going to be going over the colors with this other acrylic that I have from Sugar and Cream. It's called Toasted Sugar um, and it has like all these little like glitters in it and like butterflies and stuff. So I'm just applying a little bit of that over the marble just to give it like a little hint of glitter in the background. And I'm also using these little like iridescent daisies from um, Unique Nail Creations on eBay as well as some little pink hearts. 
and I'm just applying like a little bit of them onto the nail um, so that when I apply the Barbie stickers on them afterwards in the end result you can see like little hints of glitter in the background it just made them look like super Barbie and everything like that I don't know I love this set so much I think it came out super cute so yeah I'm basically just doing the same exact thing for every nail just doing the marble and then going over it with the glitter I'm making sure that I don't cover up a lot of that iridescent fabric because obviously you won't be able to see it um, and I am applying just slightly a little bit of the glitter at the tip of the nails.
Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone. Yeah, I don't wanna put no pressure on you. I just wanna put a blessing on you. Since our last undressing session, I'm not really sure if you've been checking. I'm progressing. I just heard my songs just popping out in Macedonia and even Serbia. I don't mean to burden you. If you got a man, sister, I understand. Last thing I wanna do is get you jammed, especially if he's the fan. He probably never wanna hear my shit again. And I need every single sound scan. But if you single and you down, then I'm in your town feeling for another. So as you can see, I'm just taking my scissors now and just trimming up all of that like extra fabric that's hanging off the nail before I go to encapsulate. Um, don't worry if it's not too perfect, it will get like filed off in the end anyway. So yeah, I'm going to be encapsulating the nails with Mia Secret Clear Acrylic. I usually always use this to encapsulate and it works really, really good. So yeah, I'm doing a three bead method. I'm doing my first bead right under the smile line. My second bead is at the smile line and my third bead is my cuticle bead. Um, and then I just take a look at the nail from like different angles and see if I need to like add any more. I did make these nails a little bit thicker than I wanted to. I'm not really sure why. Could be because it was pretty late and I was in a rush. Um, but that's nothing that like, you know, filing can't fix. But yeah, um, definitely don't make them too thick. But yeah, it's pretty simple and easy. Um, when I place a bead down, I make sure that um, I just keep messing with it and like trying to shape up the sides so that I can keep my shape as much as possible.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping up the nails. I'm debulking them first with my fine grit safety bit from a cart as always. Um, so yeah, I did make these nails really thick like I said. So I'm just like debulking them. I'm making sure I'm taking in the sides a lot so that I have less hand filing to do. I always like to do that. It helps like reduce the time of hand filing after the fact. So yeah, I'm also going around the cuticle and basically just smoothing over the entire nail to like get a lot of that bulk down and stuff like that. I'm also going along the side walls. Um, the side walls should be like the thinnest part of your nail. Um, and after this, I am going to be taking a 180 sanding band and going around the cuticle again just to like further debulk around that area um, because it was a little bit difficult to do that with this um, safety bit. Um, and I also do go in with my um, small cuticle bit to like finish sealing around the cuticle. Um, that one works really good to seal around the cuticle because it's so small and you can fit into like those really small areas and stuff like that. So as you can see, I'm taking that 180 sandy band and I'm going around the cuticle area just to like further debulk um, because it was a little bit like bulky in that area. 
So as you can see by doing that, it just made the cuticle area look really nice and flush and also do like smooth over the nail. And then I'll be going in with my smaller cuticle bits like seal around the cuticle. And if you're having trouble like sealing around the cuticle, one way to tell that if you did um, seal properly is if you take your nail and like feel around the cuticle area. Um, and if your nail catches anything, you know you have to like um, go in and seal the cuticle some more. That's like the only good thing I actually learned in school. I really didn't learn anything else useful in school. Like I said in my previous video, my teacher really didn't teach us anything. Like it was ridiculous. It was like we were there to be there. So yeah, you pretty much have to teach yourself in most cases because a lot of times in school, they just like really don't teach you much. And like, I'm not the only person that said that. I've seen other nail techs say the same thing. Oh, you can actually use this um, bit to like lightly exfoliate the skin around the cuticle area. If you did get a little bit of product on your skin or whatever, sometimes I just take it and just like file it off with the little cuticle bit. I am using that on a low speed, by the way. So yeah, after I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and shape up the nails. I'm doing a long tapered square shape and I'm really here for this length. I normally don't make my nails this long, but I really love the length on these. It's super pretty. So yeah, I definitely might be trying this length out more often. You could definitely fit like more glitter and stuff when your nails are long like this. And I don't know, they're just like really eye catching. And I really love this shape. So yeah, um, to file, I'm just filing straight on each side an even number of times. Remember what you do to one side, you want to do to the other side so that your nails come out like super even. And I'm also like angling my file in a little bit and filing a couple times on each side like that as well. Um, just to like taper the square shape in. I don't like my nails like super square, just like kind of like a tapered square or like coffin, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I also do take my hand file and like, you know, go over the surface of the nail to like further, um, you know, smooth out any bumps or anything like that. And you also want to file your free edge at an angle um, and keep your hand file straight. Um, and after that, I will be buffing over the surface of the nail.
To finish up the design, I'm just going to go ahead and start applying these Barbie stickers to my nails. And I thought I was recording on my right hand, but the camera was actually off. So I'm just going to show you guys on my left hand. This is my like non-dominant hand I'm using to do this. So yeah, don't judge me. It's a little bit of a struggle, but I managed to get it done. I'm actually going to be showing you guys how I do my nails um, in my next video. Um, with my non-dominant hand because a lot of you guys do ask me that but I'm just warning you like it is a little bit of a struggle for me um, I'm still learning as I go along but yeah like I said I get the job done it may not be like the most you know neatest looking thing but in the end it does match the other side that's all that matters so yeah these stickers are actually from shop Kiki she has like a bunch of cool stickers on her website I literally went and bought like a whole bunch of them like literally it's crazy how many stickers I bought but yeah these are super cute they have like a bunch of different little um, Barbies with different color hair and even like the little vintage Barbie on the end which I love as well so you're just gonna want to like use some tweezers to pick them up they're really small and then just place them on your nail and then just like smooth them out with your finger. You don't want any part of the sticker to be lifting up. Um, otherwise you will like, um, like see that through your top coat and it will leave like a little bump. So make sure that they're flat. Um, and after I do that, I'm just gonna go over the nails with some Poochie's Bling Gel and Gel Top Coat and apply some like bling to my nails. I'm using some little AB rhinestones that I got from Nicole diary on eBay and then some little pink Swarovski like neon crystals from daily charm and I will also be top coating the underside of the nails since these are glassy nails and yeah that is pretty much it for this set I love the way this came out I'm super obsessed with this set let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments also, let me know what you guys think of these Model 1's acrylics. I always love reading your guys' comments and hearing your thoughts. And if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you.